Hello, this is David Arnold. I'm at Laycock Abbey in Wiltshire, England, the large ancestral home of William Henry Fox Talbot, which he filled with books, sculptures, and art, and renovated by adding three large oriel windows in a long, dark hallway. Fluent in several languages, Talbot was fascinated by many things and made contributions in diverse disciplines, including botany, physics, chemistry, optics, mathematics, Egyptian hieroglyphics, and Assyrian cuneiform. Talbot was especially fascinated by sunlight and the fundamental questions of light's existence. And it's only fitting that his first successful camera-generated photograph should be of one of the oriel windows that bathed his home in sunlight. Talbot began experimenting with photochemical materials beginning in 1834 and perhaps earlier. As a botanist, Talbot felt that photography offered convenient methods for generating accurate records of botanical specimens. By 1835, he made his first written description of paper sensitized with silver salts. In the summer of 1835, he made several what he called photogenic drawings, contact prints of objects laid on silver sensitized paper. Then, on a hot day in August 1835, Talbot pointed a specially built camera at one of his oriel windows to produce one of the world's oldest photographs, a paper negative the size of a postage stamp depicting sunlight streaming through his latticed window. Talbot's photographic experiments in the summer of 1835 led to the discovery that negative images could be pressed face down, emulsion side to emulsion side against a second sensitized sheet of paper, and that by shining light through the back of the negative, a positive image is created. This discovery is the beginnings of the negative-positive system of modern photography and would become one of the most far-reaching inventions of the modern era. Thank you.